Cape Cast. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Bill Murray. <laughs> Go get it's all him, for charity, folks. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, pioneer! Uh, it may burn up on reentry, but I. That's actor Bill Murray sky in his tee shot at the 22nd annual Robert F. Kennedy Center for Justice and Human Rights Golf Tournament at the Hyannisport Club. Accepting congratulations from host Ethel Kennedy. And check out this celebrity golfing firepower. Bill Murray, Jim Rice, Ethel Kennedy, Bobby Orr, and Alec Baldwin. So, Mr. Baldwin, your thoughts today at this tournament? Well, you know, every chance I get to come, I I, I was telling Mrs. Kennedy this morning, I said, she's always so thankful and so appreciative. I said, "I, I would do everything for your family I could if I was available. Like, this is a group of people who, when you think about, uh, um, I mean, aside from legacy and all that other stuff, people who the, the work that they're doing is the work you wish you could be doing if you had more time and you had the resources and you had the outreach and you had the connections politically and so forth. I mean, what Carrie does and what her family does and what Mrs. Kennedy does and what numerous members of her family do in other organizations like Bobby with Waterkeeper and so forth. I, I wish I could do more. So any, when they call, if I'm available, I try to come. So any chance you'd ever enter the political arena yourself? No, not right now. I'm, we're here to raise money for the Robert <laughs> Kennedy. Yeah. Now, Mrs. Kennedy, I understand you're the favorite in this year's tournament. Uh, why is that? Well, maybe uh, Jimmy Rice has something to do with it, my partner. Have you stacked the deck? Do you have the best yes, golfer? I did. I did. I, I, I'm ashamed. Oh, but Mrs. Kennedy. Happy. One of the great deck stackers of all history. <laughs> I'm ashamed, but I'm happy. That's a quote right Well, there. good luck out there. The weather's getting a little crazy. What about the rain and potential trouble? Well, I know it's going to really interfere with my drive. And, so, we'll make it through. It seems like a great spirit out here. Talk about sort of the vibe on the course and around this tournament. You know, I'm so darn proud of our field. Uh, people have come from a long Way, way. Some from as far as Spain and Ireland, England. For all these people out here to be helping the people Bobby loved and cared about and helping human rights all over the world, it's, it's very moving. All right. Give them heck out there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay. Good. Mr. Murray, what's your message to Cape Codders? Uh, well, look at, I think uh, they, if they could, only if they could crawl to the window, they can see. It's another day we made it. Now, what about Ghostbusters 3? You going to be in it? <laughs> Come on, we're breaking big super news here, Mr. Murray. Big giant news. I barely got up. You asking me to go to work? Don't run out of <laughs> There's a lot of energy here uh, at the RFK tournament, and we're just going to go out and try to show some Cape Cod hospitality to all of our all of our guests. Now, what about fog, thunder, lightning, things no, like that? No, 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 no. We're not worried. We're we're worried about water, sand traps, okay, and and high fescue. That's what <laughs> we're worried about. Who's the golfer to watch today out there? I don't know. I think Ethel. She won the tournament last year, and I think she's. Gonna, she's gunning to, to, to win back to back. Well, good luck out there, hey, sir. Thank, thank you very you. much. Mr. Murray, could you break down Ethel's golf game? Uh, you know, if, if Ethel putts, if Ethel, if Ethel, if, if, see, these are hard words, if Ethel, if Ethel putts, she, uh, she, she's a champion. Sorry, kiddo. <laughs> good luck out there. Could you grace us with a serenity now, please? Jerry, serenity now. Good luck Did you out feel there. it? Oh man, it felt right through me. Thank you, I appreciate it. Lloyd Braun, ladies and gentlemen, talk about a celeb. 
How about the ice cream thing? It's been a sensation, the sweaty balls thing. Do you get a lifetime supply of that? How do you feel about that whole thing? I was thing? told it's a limited edition, that they're only going to come out with it for a little while. And they've already had some pushback. I'm told there's some very uh, disgruntled mothers out there who don't like that. And I can understand that. It is a little bit of a, of a, of a harsh double entendre, maybe. And uh, so... But but uh, I, I really I, I don't have a lifetime supply no, and I gave up sugar, so I don't even eat eat ice cream anymore. It's tough too. It's, that's been very painful. That's a human rights tragedy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Mind not having sugar. Cape Cass. Good look out there, Mrs. Kennedy. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Great shoes, by the way. Those are fabulous. You know, uh, they don't weigh anything. I mean, they're just lovely. They don't even have tongues. You'll float over the greens. <laughs> Not a way. <laughs>